Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Oh, uh, well, welcome to Consequences Plays The Walking Dead. We're playing the definitive edition. Which I haven't played this I've game for up years. I've got a nephew UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. It's so good to be playing back as Lee again. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. It's been so, so long I can't wait to play through this game with you guys. <sighs> Any of that seem important to you? All of them. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So, maybe he was innocent. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. This other time... I was a bit late letting him know about that. Here we are, back in it. Back in the shits. I really like all the upscale textures. Um, everything looks so much crisper than uh, than how I remember it. So I'm I'm looking forward to getting through every episode of this. Hey, officer, 
Are you all right? I'm still cut back here. He managed to get out, um, but Lee, not so much. Be careful when you when you scooch through this, my friend. Definitely cut himself on that glass. Oof. Be careful on that leg, friend. Man, this game really changed. Changed the game when this came out. It's a shame that there aren't more episodic games anymore. They're sort of died away a little bit. But with The Wolf Among Us 2 coming out next year and The Expanse, Looks empty. we might be a little little closer to getting more be episodic easier games to carry back. With these cuffs off. Can we pick up the shotgun shell first? Yeah, throw yourself down on it. Officer? God damn. You know what would have been cool if, if the officer survived and then we met him later down the line? Um, but I suppose that wasn't to be, was it? He is dead and gone. Shit. Oh, no. <gasps> Tickled his nose, then. Shotgun shell, we just need the shotgun. Come on, you? Come on, Lee, quicker. Don't make me do this. Straight in the head. He's dead and gone. Zom's coming. If the zombie apocalypse is already this far gone, why were they bothering to transfer it? I suppose it's the it's the illusion of uh, that things are fine, isn't it? Come on, Lee, quicker! But there's loads and loads of dead people already. I'm not sure transporting a, sing a, a single person would have been higher than the, than the police things to do. There you go. I suppose we wouldn't have a story if uh, if, if if they hadn't. It would be a very different game if, if Lee had just starved to death in a jail cell. Um, okay, so 
Let's have a little look around. What have we got here? Our oh, little tea set. Forget that. Uh, Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if yeah. I could. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. How did uh, how did Clem get up there then? Help! Anybody up there? Come on, let's get going. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I wonder if anybody's home. Let's uh, slide the door open and see. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I think this is set during Rick's He's coma, right? More help than I do. It's a little bit earlier than um, where the Walking Dead comics picks up from. Oh, Jesus. So stupid, man. You just looked at it. You just saw it was there. a savannah area code but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter oh radio coming Andy this place has been ransacked just about anything worthwhile is gone Nothing, no good. What's that beeping? <laughs> Got to check everything. Really wants me to check the answer machine, doesn't it? How long's that been out for, though? Ooh. It's gonna be stale by now. Not worth checking those cupboards. We've already looked at that. Where's the answer machine then? There it is. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Oh, TV's on. Uh, cable's out. I know, you can't sit down and relax here. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? God, that kid lived here. Not a kid. There are three the new kid. messages. Alright, let's do it. Let's do the answer machine. crazy guy near the hotel so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break he sounds like a uh, message to Papa Left already got there oh my god finally 
I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, sweet, sweet Clementine. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Oh, she's so clever. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hello. Hello, Clementine. Got a quick time ages. Oh, bloody blood again. He's so stupid. One more. And another one. Oh, an eye pop then. Oh, disgusting. Remind you of anyone? Glenn. <coughs> sorry. No, no, sorry. Man. Hi there. Hi there. Hey there. Ho there. Who's looking forward to that 90 show Did coming you kill back? It? In uh, January. Comments below. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What so should sweet. we do now? Mm, should we look for help now or get out of here once sunk? No, let's look for help now. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Oh, she Stay takes close his to hand. than me. She just clipped then. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night.
What's the matter? Should I stay? Where should I go? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this Sean is Clementine. I'm Chet. Herschel's son. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I don't know, did you silence for this one? A good Samaritan. Yeah, a good Samaritan. I like that. Let's Thank get you, going. Sean. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. So... What I'm seeing here is that Chet was the problem. Sean was given given the pushes and Chet was just coasting by. One more? No, we got it, we got it. Ah, oh, we just missed the Sean doing some hard four. Those guys? Not good Samaritans. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You didn't sound very sure about that. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Not. Oh, not his daughter. daughter. He's a good Samaritan. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. You need to put some hash green magic something. on it. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed? Before the car accident. 
Um, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be leaving Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a Why ride. Why did we get another option? Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Clementine had that. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead cop crawling on the ground, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. It's really. not business as usual, I though, already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. That was a swear. Put it, put a, put a dollar in the swear jar. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> Man's having a nightmare. Hey, get up. <sighs> Kenny, that was rude. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? Not I'm her uh, dad. Not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Why? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. 
need to figure out how I want to play this game. If I want to be mean or if I want to be nice. Oh, that invisible wall sticking. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. That other's oh, duck. How you doing, duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Does that mean Lee was a lawyer? Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. No problem. What? What's the length? Oh, we're just gonna get stuck in. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... A couple. I had to shoot one. Yeah, that's the kind of way to I say I could it. shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Perfect. Well, I was helpful. Dog house. I didn't know they had a dog. Uh, right, we'll talk to... I can't remember what the girl, the woman's name was, but... Oh, Katja. Talk to her Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. I was a teacher. Teacher of law, though, yeah? We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Yeah. Except probably not. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Hell yeah. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. And now it's time to talk to Clementine. You having time. a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Oh, we're not actually going to talk to Clementine. All right. Uh... Let's not bother talking to Kenny. Let's try and go in the house. Right. House is off limits. Invisible wall. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. 
Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. dolphin! Gotcha wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would've liked one then. You know. See ya. Hmm, okay. Uh, what now then? Oh, Herschel's appeared in the barn. Let's go have a little chitty chat with him. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Parents are in Macon. My Macon's. parents are in Macon yeah. with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Why is he Can always I give so you a piece of advice? He's gonna punch me in the face. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna. I've make been it. nothing but. If those same you. people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> Go! I'll get my gun! Stitch you up. It, it almost it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I. Uh, oh, let out real quick. Oh, duck, really. 
screwed the pooch on this one. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. I um, feel like I'm going to be mean to Kenny in this one, but I can't say it's you his fault. You can't blame Kenny. Can't the say it's hell his fault I can't. One. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. God damn it, duck. You suck. Out well, of gas. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. We got us to exactly where we needed to be. How good's that? Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! Ah! No! Ah! take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there then we let them we have kids with us i see one little girl what is it i I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. No, I'm not saying anything. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. It's him or Dad. Duck. <laughs> yeah. You need to calm yeah. down. It's Let's either him on. or your son. I say it's him. Oh, no. Damn right. Now I'm Not trying not to be loyal things. to Kenny. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. 
They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Probably. Hey, he I'm knows. not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Here we go. We She'll do what you turn say. Fast. Now we're turning then, on Kenny. There'll be three. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally! Someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing him out now. Uh, I'm just gonna. Hang back and not do anything. No, he's not bitten. Look, look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. We better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. All right. Jesus! Oh, Lee, you're so bad on that leg. Okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Uh, uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. Savage. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. 
You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I feel like Glenn didn't introduce himself. Um, anyway, we need to go find the pills, but we're going to save that for the next episode of Consequences Plays, The Walking Dead, Season 1. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. It's been so great to get back into this game. It's been many years since I've played it. And be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the, on the game. And I will see you in the next episode.